back. And we have, uh, I believe it's Old Guys Club, Old Timers versus Out of Open on a semifinal best of three. We also have Rebel versus uh, FIT uh, on the other, or RIT Esports on the other semifinals. So the winners of these two games will play each other first and second. We do have John taking a best down Inferno uh, by corner. Now we have Finn actually sneaking all the way into Boiler to get behind Cress and the taken down T side. We got an early lead coming in for the T side, which is very, very big on this map. You got to get as many points on T side for Inferno as humanly possible. It is a very CT sided map. All right, now we have out of open on CT side, old timers on T side. You got the old timers looking towards the mid. See if they can start pushing up mid banana, get some of that control going down. G White spraying with that Mac 10 from Apps Entrance towards the window is trying to get at least one or two. It gets none, unfortunately, no damage at all. Technical investor can start pushing up towards this banana side, try to get some control. Technical actually does get tagged by that Deagle from John down to 60%. And now we have technical. It looks like he's playing for anti flash, hoping that they push him. Unfortunately for technical, they don't actually have any flashes on the other team. So at this point, he's going to line up his molly towards new box, uh, try to get the guy out of that new box. He's actually that. Yep, it looks like here they go. They're going to go for the B execute. They do have most of their team here now. They have best over here lurking around. They actually best got the whole rotate and got most of these players to rotate towards A site. There's only one on B. Best does take down Allen, immediately gets traded by Iswick back. And now Halton, Halthorn takes down Gunner and they have the entire site to themselves. I don't think they realize that. They do now know that they have the site. They have to get the bomb down quickly. The rotate's gonna start coming in. John in CT. They did smoke it off, so they have plenty of time. John's just gonna get tagged through that smoke a little bit down to 80. And he's gonna start checking corners. He did get all the way up to great. They did get that reload, so they know he's there at this point. We have Finn's playing towards T ramp, looking for the exits, and is Wick back, and John are actually gonna look to push through, maybe see if they can get one or two exits as well. At this point, try to get something going, or at least get some of these guns out of the hands of the old timers. And now old timers pretty much uncontested. Oh, they do take out Krez with a nice headshot from that AK. Is with back is probably just gonna hold on to this Khalil at that point because they're not gonna have too much money to buy into the next round. Oh, and Finn takes out technical, but immediately traded out by Jay White, so he does not get to hold on to that Mac 10. Unfortunately for him. Now they are going to have to come out. Here comes the buy. They do have the full M4. They just don't have a lot of utility, unfortunately, for out of open. And Old Timers is up too. They do have that Tech 9. Technical is kind of broke. Uh, so he does have the Tech 9. So he's going to have to pretty much entry with that. Um, it looks like they're actually going to run through the Molly on the B site a little bit. They are going to start setting up the B site. Here are the nades. They are going to come up. There's the jump nade from Jay White. Is going to hit towards uh, Gunner. It doesn't do too much damage to him, but it does hit Wick, his Wick back down to about 60%. Um, yeah, we can get the music turned down in one moment. Uh, you just gotta give us a couple minutes for the production guy to take care of that for you. Um, but now we have the old timers. Actually, they actually do have, it looks like, uh, one, two, three towards A site. It is gonna be a B execute. Halton takes down his wick back and then takes immediately takes out another one. Halton's taken out by John on CT. They didn't smoke CT side, but they were able to get the bomb down. John does take out Cress. It's now a 2v3 situation. And it does look like the T sides are actually out of utility. 
and John has one flash to his name, so at least CT has something. They are going to need that flash, though, to get onto this site. They are actually clearing the angles, but they do have a good crossfire. Best does take out Kress. And now it's a 2v1 situation just like that. Finn has nowhere to go. He is kind of stuck in this corner. He has to play for these 1v1s. Unfortunately, he is getting swung on by both of them at the same time and gets taken down. Old timers, 3-0 out, out of open. Map 1 of the semi-final best of three series. Old timers is playing very, very good patient CS right now on the T side of Inferno. I mean, they're looking like an unstoppable force. And they did draw out of open through Eco, so this should be an easy 4 0 4 out of open. They just gotta keep going like this the way they are now. And it looks like there's gonna be a, a mid rush 4 out of open that Nate does so much damage to John. Best and, Al Best and Crest are able to spray down the next two with a flash also, making it a 3v5 situation. And these AKs are just gonna keep punishing and punishing out of open. Over and over again, Best takes out Finn with a nice spray down for the headshot. And they're really not even taking that much damage. Best going again for more. Takes out Iswick back. Continues to spray through that smoke. The last player alive is Gunner sitting on banana barrels. Kind of trying to push it or do something at this point. He is going to push a little bit. Maybe try to get a gun or hopefully get a gun. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do anything. Out, old timers are just going to sit on site now, get this plant from Best. They're going to plant towards the safe spot. Don't know where the last guy is. I mean, he is pushing up mid, but it doesn't look like he's going to make a difference. I mean, at this point, he doesn't even have an armor, so there's nothing really to save other than this P250. He might as well go for an exit frag, try to get a gun, and save it to the next round. And he's is going to take Best down to 7. He's going to get one, but immediately gets traded out by Technical. And now it is 4 0 for the old timers. Playing some really good CS right now. Alright, now we have the Bobai and the OP coming in for his Wick back. Hopefully he can make something go. He's going to peek mid with this and hold mid. He actually does get flashed off the angle. And we are going to have a T side push through apps for uh, the T side. They're really going to try to take control of this apps play right here. I mean, Finn and Allen are by themselves on. Iswick back can rotate down towards uh, Arches and get one. I mean, Finn does get the first pick on the first engagement. Finn gets two. Actually, gets the third with the perfect spray down. They don't even take him. Finn's going back for more. Finn gets... Oh, Finn does get shut down by... Um, Finn does get shut down on Crest, and Iswick back takes down Crest as well. That AWP is really, really strong. Uh, he's going to sit there. Oh, he misses the shot. Iswick back. He saw the peak and just missed it. It's up to Best. I mean, at this point, Best does get gunned down by Gunner and Allen. All right. I mean, it's four. You can finally put out of open on the board. That was a good hold by Finn. Came up big there. Stopped three of them from coming out of apps and just completely shut down that entire push. If Finn didn't get at least... Finn didn't stop them there, they would have had the sight, and that would have been 5-0 five, five from out of open. And Crest does get hit with that molly a little bit. He's now going to be able to push back. It looks like he can go for another BX because they got stopped A, and they've been unstoppable pushing this B site. It does look like they missed that mo uh, flashbang a little bit. They are going to push back, though. They need to use a lot of utility trying to take that first sight. And they are going to go for the boost here. Try to get some information or at least uh, some damage in. It does look like, though, they are going to start smoking out a site as well. We have Technical over here with the bomb, who's going to start pushing towards a site. Iswick back, though, is holding this angle with the op. And they do flash him off of it. And molly him off of it. So now they know that they are coming up mid. There is going to be a rotate, though, from the CTs. They now have 1, 2, 3 on site. And Gunner is still playing towards that B site. Best does take back down his wick back. Allen gets one. Allen immediately gets traded, though, by Halter. John on... They're still holding B site, but Jay White is actually going to sneak through this smoke towards B. As is Crest. Finn is going to take down Halter. 
and technical is gonna take down Finn. Just turn the music down. Uh, John takes down Cress, and Gunner takes down Technical. It's gonna be a now. They crumbled the T side. It's now gonna be a two on one. Jay White, all he has is that Mac ten and eight seconds left, and he goes down, and the CTs win it two to four. Alrighty then, we're gonna have a buy coming in. It looks like uh, Best actually just gonna force by an AK when the rest of his team can't buy. That is not the greatest move at this time, especially with the economy the way it is. They should have just saved that extra round and went for the went for the buy next. All right, we're gonna have a boost up on the flower pots too. This is a p pistol round four. All right, save round four. The old timers trying to get some of that momentum back that they lost. Over those last two rounds, old timers is definitely or out of open, definitely starting to give them a run for their money. And it looks like they're gonna start pushing back towards apps. Nope, they're going back towards mid now. Uh, and B site. I mean, they don't have the guns to really take A site. Best does get flashed off the boost spot. He's going for it again though. Try to get some information or something, which he gets absolutely nothing. The out of Open's playing really smart. They're just kind of holding angles at this point and, ho uh, and waiting for the T side to just push right into him. And now we have old timers just sitting here waiting for the time to run out, the smoke to run out so they can get something going. Holton's going in, they're pushing, they're immediately flashed off. They run through that molly. They're just pushing out of sight. Holton takes down John. Gunner takes down Holton. They're going to continue to push the site. They have to get this bomb down. Gunner does get start planting the bomb. He is going to get the bomb down. Or Crest is actually going to get the bomb down. Which does give him the 300 guaranteed whether they lose this round or not. Now they're going to have to sit here on post plant and try to get something going. They have no utility left, whereas in the CT has plenty of utility for this retake. They're going to spray. I don't think they're going to expect Jay White there. Jay White actually gets sprayed down by Allen. Crest takes down Allen immediately. Ben takes down Technical. Iswick back gets knocked down by Crest. And now it's best in a 2v1 and Finn shuts him down. And it is now going to be 3 to 4 for the out of open. Coming back with a... Alright, so now out of open, 3 to 4 with the old timers. And they're going to push down Banana. They're going to start holding towards T-Ramp. Start working towards their way down Banana. Crest is kind of stuck in that little cubby right now because of the mollies in front of and behind him. All right, we got Crest now coming down Banana very slowly. Fortunately for him, Gunner is holding that angle from a spot they're going to have to flash him off of. They're, at this point, they're just playing for something. Halton is coming to jump over the wall. The mostly been pushing towards this B site. They really haven't had too much success with it. Uh, out of open has been able to stop them with just a lot of utility usage. I mean, every time they throw nades, uh, smokes, flashes, out of open immediately counters with their nades as well to try to keep old timers back and just get them to burn as much of their utility as they can before they take the site. They are really good at holding out of open, uh, old timers here and not letting them push onto site. Now, here comes the contact. They are going to have the first contact play. They didn't actually smoke CTs, which enabled Gunner to just swing on the team. The flash comes out. Halton gets pushed back, as does Cress. They're now going to start pushing towards the smoke. Did come in late. Allen's able to uh, spray down best. They don't know there's... they now able to molly John off a new box and spray him down. There's one CT. They're going to have to refresh that CT smoke. There is also the guy through... Uh, Coffins, who did up, down, up, down Allen to half health. Cress takes down Iswick back. Allen's now pushing around this, uh, through, back through Coffins. I don't think they know he's there. Cress is holding the angle, though, but Cress does get taken out by Allen. 
It's now a 1v1 situation. Holton, Allen has no idea where Holton is. Holton is playing this perfectly. Allen's got no idea where he is. He's going to try to make the defuse, and Holton takes him out, winning the 1v1, putting old timers back in this game. That was a great play by Holton. He didn't peek until the bomb defused. Uh, Allen had no idea where he was, and it also forced out of open back into an eco round. They have no armor, one and two deagles, and some P250s. This is gonna be, should be an easy win for old timers on this round. And it looks like they're going to start pushing down. Banana again gets some of this contact plays through. They're actually going to start rotating now mostly towards apps. Best takes out John through the wall on Banana. Jay White's now pushing into Boiler. They actually fleshed him out. He's able to push on to towards Lower Balk. They actually don't even have a smoke for Arches. He, they're just pushing out Wild Wildman. Is Wickback's able to take down Techno on Techno? Iswick back's also able to retreat. Best take down Finn. Jay White's now gonna take down Iswick back and also spray down Gunner. And they're gonna be able to push A site from the multiple angles. An easy win there for the old timers. Old timers are playing very, very good CS. I mean, even with all their kill spreads, it's for the most part, the top half of the team is kind of heavy coming in, but for out of open, they're all around the same spread. And he, they're now going towards apps. They are breaking the windows. Just get those mollies in there. Get some try to tags through the walls. On the wall vent. Chris is going to pick up the bomb. And they're going to start making their way towards apps. At least Halton is. Going to hold that angle. Crest of the bomb is actually now rushing towards towards up uh, T side apps. Trying to spray somebody down through the Wall bang into apps. Cubby, he's not able to hit anybody. There's actually nobody there. So they're just trying to keep the players back at this point. Play for some information. Gunner's going to start pushing up, down Banana. Try to get some information. At least something going. The T sides now all start to push towards A. They are going to flash apps and arches. And under Bal. Now this is where they go. That off is going to be super critical, but they do finally get that smoke down to stop Iswick back from getting an easy pick on them. They have to throw that earlier before they peek it. Now the entire T side knows they're there. They're all going to start rotating. Gunner's actually going to start moving back towards B site, and they're going to start executing A now. Here come the smokes. The bomb is still towards Boiler. Jay White's actually going to get spammed a little bit. Vid's going to get taken by Alter from Pit. And this looks like this side's going to start crumbling around. Iswick back. He's going to get best. Technical takes out Jay White. Or Technical takes out is White. And Jay White takes out all. And Finn takes down Jay White. And now Finn's stuck in pit with two T side players left on site. He's actually going to get mollied. I don't think they know he's there. Finn's just tap, tap, tapping away, trying to get one. John takes down Cress. And it's all three on one. Gunner's going to finish. Technical for a easy CT win. It is now going to be a 4-6. Coming to round 10 of the best of three. First round for uh, old timers versus out of open in the semifinals. Alright, now we got round going on again. Do have... The T side making their way towards towards apps. They're gonna volley apps to stop anybody from crossing boiler. They are gonna start pushing towards mid though. They there's gonna be a, for a couple flashes and Molly's the Molly is gonna slow them down. They're actually gonna run through the Molly, at least two of them. They do take a little bit of damage, but not enough to uh, stop them. Allen sprays down F Jay White and Finn sprays on a halter. Techno actually gets two, which allows them to get the site and get the plant. Technical doesn't get the bomb down yet. He does get pushed off the spot. He's now going to get it down. And John gets taken down by Best. It's now a 3v2 situation post-plant. Technical is holding a nice angle. They have multiple players, it looks like, looking short. But not really too many. Wizwick back. It's a nice shot on Technical. Gets another one on the Best. It's now a 2v... It's now a 1v1. They don't know where Crest is. He smokes out the bomb. Smokes out what he believed was the bomb, but it was... 
fortunately just short, and Crest swings on his whip back and takes him down for the win for old timers. Now 7 4. And there is no giving for old timers. They're just going to keep on going. Hopefully, on when they do get to the T side or CT side, they do have a good half and are able to close out this map. I'm pretty sure their first pick was Mirage. And I'm pretty sure this was their map pick. And it looks like we're going to have a banana rush. They're just going to come flying down banana now. They know they're on. They should, they should know they're on eco. They are just running it down. They do not seem to stop. They did see the guy go boost. He did drop. They heard it. John's going to get one. John's going to get two. John's going to get three. Crest does trade out John. Here comes the nade. It does clip the wall, so it doesn't look like it's going to do too much. Oh, they double smoked Coffin. It's now a 2v3. They still don't have any guns other than these pistols for out of open. They're going to have to play the distance. Allen does pick up an AK, and he is going to try to push this site. Allen does get Jay White. He does take his head off. Allen gets a second one for Crest and wins this round for out of open. The eco round for out of open is converted into a point. Which actually looks like it may turn around and eco the T side. They don't all have money for guns, so they may have to save this round unless they're just going to go for the light buy. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for the full save here. Just the P250s and some armor. You can't lose those rounds when you have the eco like that. You threw one easy round into now... A possible easy round for out of open. You made it 8-4. From 8-4, it would have been to 6-7. It's too close. Those nades doing a lot of damage on this, to the T side. Crest almost gets burned alive. They they all ate those HEs down to 40 each, pretty much, for the most part. Or under 40 each. At this point, this looks like it's going to be an easy CT round is what back it takes down best with that op he is going to hold the angle allen takes down jay white crest is going to get taken down by allen with the 3k allen gets taken down by uh technical and then technical gets taken down with the pistol by is wick back there's a good half coming in from old timers they were dominating the first four rounds lost the next three and now it's been up in the air since then out of open is not giving up though continuing to push back every point they possibly can is wick back with a nice flick on the best picks him off early down mid allen now holding the angle is wick with a cross trying to get something going he is falling back a little bit trying to watch boiler now he's going to go help his teammate abs there is going to be a contact here from crest on abs if he peeks this. Crest is actually going to fall back. Jay White's got the bomb pushing down Banana. There is two Banana towards the Banana side. Two towards the A side. Halton is actually going to take back, take down the upper. Is Wick back on Arch's side. And he's now going to push towards Pit. He's going to take a little bit of damage from that knee. But nothing to deter him from that. At this point. He's just going to try to spray somebody through that smoke. See if he can get somebody off that. There is one Pit though. Stopping that arch's side, or the uh, the short side push. Finn's by their self, watching um, arches. They actually did fully flash Allen. It looks like they may start holding arches and go A. They are sitting by the library. I don't know if Finn knows they're there or Allen. Allen seems to have an idea of where they are. But he does turn around and put his back to them. They are going to sneak through. They do catch Allen off guard. They are going to smolly off pit. And able to get the safe plant down. Holton takes out Finn. Opens up the site completely. It looks like this is going to be a T-side round. Four old-timers. It looks like they're going to be up 8-6. And we have John and... Gunner look like they're going to try to save that AK and M4, at least bring it into the next round. They don't have a lot to do with money. I mean, Gunner can drop a gun for somebody else. They don't have, they're only going to get 1400 for this round. So Gunner's going to have to drop one. Finn's going to have to buy and see where they can go from there. Gunner actually takes out Holton. And the round ends. They are going to be able to save both of these guns going into the next round. And then here comes, this is the last round, so they are going to have to buy out. 
There's the one drop for the gun. And there's the actually the off drop. They are going to have pretty much a full buy. They are going to have a full buy completely for the CT side. Because they were able to hold on to those guns. Is Wick back burning alive in the molly? Go for the peak. Doesn't get anything for it. Just takes a lot of damage from that HE and that molly. He is holding this angle very, very well. He is able to get technical though. Technical peak did best. Immediately swings on him. Catches him with a nade in his hand. Taking him down. Best is now going to try to push on the site. He does take a lot of damage from that HE though. He's going to spray through that smoke. Try to get something. Alan does take it. Uh, take a fight. And takes a little bit of damage. Finn does take down Halton in apps. Finn is now holding, playing that balcony every round. And they haven't been able to take him off of it. Gunner does take down Best. It looks like it's going to be a CT win here. Crest does take out Gunner. It's now a 3v2. And John is all alone on that A site. He's also, or B site. He's also flashed off. Here comes Allen for the rotate. But they did smoke him off. But unfortunately for the T side, he is mollied off. And John is going to take down Crest from Coffins on that nice shot. It's now a 2v1. Jay White by himself in mid, completely flashed and mollied off of the A site. There's not much he can do here. It's a 3v1 situation, and all he has is an AK and no, and one molly. Can he pull this off to bring it to a 9-6 half, or is it we going to end up on a 7-8 half for old-timers? Now, we have Finn here sitting graveyard. He's got to peek this at the right moment. The second here, here's that drop. Oh, Jay White sees him. No, I don't think Jay White could see him. Now he knows he's there. He does go for the brick spray, and Finn's going to take him down. And that is the half. We have out of open halftime seven, old timers eight. Coming into the half. And it does look like we have a timeout coming in. Match paused for a couple seconds for Allen. Seems to having some issues with the computer. Unfortunately, it's still going to be a pause. <laughs> John calling for a source switch for original Counter-Strike. Uh, and here we go. It is unpaused, and we are going to be going with Old Timers now up in the lead on the half for CT side now. All right, we have a quick damage coming in for the T side. They're actually going to push Holter. They're going to rush down Banana. They're actually backing up a little bit. They do take a lot of damage and don't really trade that well. I mean, they took a lot off of Holton. It looked, it looked to be about even there for the CT side trade-wise. They did rush down Banana with a nice flash. The T side's able to take down two. They're able to take John, uh, Crest, and Jay White. They're now rotating back towards Boiler. They get the bomb down, so no matter what happens, they are going to be able to get a full buy down. Halter takes down Finn to make it a three on four, and it's still winnable for both sides. They do have the defuse kit. Halter down takes down Gunner. 3v3. And they're going to keep trying to push this down. Well, uh, John takes down Halter by short. At this point, there's really not much the CT side can do. The John takes down technical. There goes the kit. Best is alone in a three-on-one situation with no kit in hand. And he takes down nobody and immediately gets his head taken clean off by Allen. All right, 8-8 eight, eight going into this half. Semifinals, Matt 1, Mirage. Oh, I'm sorry, Inferno 4. Old timers out of open for the meta. Esports, CSGO, LAN tournament. 
We have Revel playing on uh, Revel and RIT in one game and Old Timers and Out of Open on the other. And this game right now is back and forth. Neither team is giving it up. John takes down Crest quickly with that Mac 10. Nice push. I don't think they don't realize Jay White's in the smoke. Jay White can make. Oh, Jay White gets shut down immediately by Gunner. That smoke dissipates at the wrong time. It looks like the T sets actually already have the site. They just got to get the bomb down. At this point, it looks like there'll be a nice, easy second round for out of open, leading now the second half of this game. Technical takes down actually is Wick back. It looks like they're going to start going for this, or they're trying to, try to at least save that MAC 10 into the next round. And it looks like Technical is just looking for some sort of pick. Oh, he does get tagged down. Gunner doesn't know he's there. He's going to swing on Gunner and immediately get taken down. Halton then swings on Gunner with a Deagle, takes down him. And now Holt is going to see as much damage as he can, but he does take down Finn and get shut down immediately after. 9, 8, 4 out of open. Who have been playing very, very good CS, but Old Timers is not out yet and is making a great, great attempt and comeback on this. All right, now it looks like we're going to have a quick B push. Gonna come down banana. They're actually pushing this really fast, trying to they are completely blind. Technical takes down two. Technical gets the third. Best sprays down gunner, and it looks like out of open just folds under the pressure with those perfect flashes. They didn't stack the B site, expecting the rush. For out of open. That was great flashes by old timers they played the place those exactly where they needed to completely blinded the entire t side making them full eco now this round old timers should have an easy round coming in on this this round right here they're completely they got two cds two then three deagles at this point all they can hope for is a couple picks maybe get some guns and save them into the next round their ego is a little shot. They're on one loss bonus, so they're going to get 1,900 coming into this round. Not a lot to work with. They have no utility, nothing, so everything's going to be a dry peak and hope for the best. Jay White does get tagged a little bit through the wall by, uh, it looked like Gunner taking a couple shots at him. Crest is holding this nice angle towards from Arches. He does get the information that one is there. He is backing up towards Arches a little bit. I don't think he realizes how many of them are actually there. Technical is still holding his spot out on B, as is Halton. Gunner's sitting there by arches. He is holding Cubby. He doesn't realize it's clear, so he's just going to kind of hold that, hoping they don't get destroyed. They're also going to sit by arches. They're going to push this guy library. They're going to run through this molly as best as they can. That's all they can do. Best takes down three. Finn takes down one. He does recover the M4. He's able to spray down one. Gunner Guts Crest in this. They did turn this round around. This is a great round. They are going to get the bomb plant down, so they are now going to be able to buy next round no matter what happens here. And they have the M4. They are. This is a 2v2 situation coming on. Gunner with the wandy to take down Technical. They turn this eco round around. They have the guns now. They don't have the utility. Gunner is real weak. This is still winnable by Halton. He does have the kit. He does spray Finn down a little bit. Down, Knocks him down to 27. He's running out of time. He's going to have to flash this and jump out. He doesn't, though. He gets peaked by Finn and Gunner and taken down. That was a great round by Ada Open. They went from absolutely nothing to winning that round with a couple nice Wandigs and... Picking up that M4, immediately spraying down a second, take, opening up that A site. That's what they got to do here, except with the rifles. They just got to keep getting picks like that. They're trading very, very well. Everything's a trade. Best had a great 3K spray down, but unfortunately it wasn't enough for them to keep going. Crest with the nade does take down his wick back. Best with the nice boost taking down John in Boiler. And he's now going to spray a little bit through that smoke. Finn's going to start pushing towards... Banana trying to get at least one. He does hit the nice molly for the sandbags. Trying to clear anybody out there. Trying to peek for information. They are going to boost on flower pots. I don't know if out of open is going to expect this. It looks like they are struggling a lot with the rifle rounds. But when it comes to the Hiko rounds, they're doing really great. Uh, technical does spray down Finn a little bit. 
They are going to see, try to get some information in. There's a nice nade. It's going to land directly on Technical. He's able to spray him down with the help of that nade. They're now going to push back towards a site. They're going to smoke it, try to get bait as many players over here, which does seem to be working. Holton's stuck in the smoke on Flower Pots. Crest is playing more towards CT. They're going to kind of hang out here in Banana to try to see if they can bait them over. Jay White does get fully flashed out. They are flashing Holton. And Crest is now going to rotate out. Best is going to play towards Arches for C play for some information. They're going to run right into Allen, take down Allen. And now Jay White's here. I don't think they realize he's Hay Bale. They, they don't see him. He dropped. I, they had to have heard that. Nope. Jay White takes down one. Best swings for the other one. And Gunner gets taken down by Best. It's now 10-10. This game is back and forth. Neither team giving anything up. They're both, both giving it everything they have. Fighting back and forth. Every round seems like it's uh, hard, hard bought. And it does look like the stream is lagging a little bit, but it's starting to even out. There we go. All right. Looks like we got some Finn fans, so we'll keep it on Finn for now. And Finn it does have this deagle. He has been really good with this deagle lately. He's like looking towards apps, but he's going to push back a little bit towards this banana. Maybe see if he can get some information for his team, but he doesn't get really quite anything. He's going to start pushing down towards banana with the rest of his team. Allen gets taken down by Holton immediately through the spray through that smoke. And Finn does take a pop shot, but doesn't really connect with anything. Iswick back is now pushing towards sight. Trying to get something done. Gunner does get taken down by Technical with the pistol. And so does John by Holden with that M4. Finn is alone by himself with the bomb towards Banana with these two CT players coming at him. And unfortunately, he isn't able to hit the Wandig against uh, Holden. Holden does spray him down. Iswick back is by himself stuck in arches. Blind, nowhere to go. And he is going to get a oh, nice 1D on technical and immediately traded out by Crest with a scout. And it is now 11 10. It looks like we're going to have a technical timeout coming here. And it looks like they are having technical issues. They are going to have to change the resin, kind of change it back. This has been a great tournament so far. There's been only a few blowouts for the most part. Most teams have been pretty even when it comes to this event. There really hasn't been too many variations on maps. A lot of the guys are playing the same same maps. Vertigo is always an insta-ban. Uh, we haven't had a train pick yet either. A lot of the teams are sticking towards uh, Mirage, Inferno, and Nuke. It seems to be the favorites for these teams in. And it looks like... We are going to be back soon. They are starting to buy out now. They are going to be start ready. Um, and it looks like Jay White was having an issue with his FPS. It was 10 for the entire round. That's really hard to play, especially in Counter-Strike. The stream did lag for a minute, but it came back up. Well, they, they were having FPS issues as well. Yeah, they were at 10 frames at one point. It looks like they're back. Is Verizon over here? No, they are, but they won't run a line through here without installing a whole giant $20,000 That sucks. Because they have the gigabit network, which is phenomenal. I had that in my apartment. All right, and we are on pause, and here we go. Back into... The game, old, out of open, pushing towards apps early on. They are going to get mollied out of apps, so it's going to stop them a little bit. And Gunner's just going to hold this angle. John is already in apps. He jumped in through boost. Best is holding the angle. Gunner, here he comes, trying to get some information to help John out a little bit. Gunner has the bomb, so he really shouldn't be going first. But anything is possible is Wick. Is Wick back and Allen are trying to make as much noise to this B side to draw as many players over here as humanly possible so these guys can have an easy entrance into A site. It is very hard to take the site with the angles that these guys have. Best is sitting there holding uh, holding towards 
Pitt from short. And Jay White's playing for some information on the other side. Holton's got their arches. And it looks like Gunner's just sitting there holding the angle, kind of. Holton is going to start to push now, though. Does Gunner swing on him? Gunner now knows he's there. He is just smoked out, but there is a gap in that smoke, so he can play that smoke gap for information. John's sitting in boiler, so he knows nobody's going to swing on him. They are going to try to swing a little bit onto Gunner, but they are going to he's going to back off. Finn is going to sit here and start the B site push. Gunner's actually now rotating towards Banana. Here comes the smokes now. They are going to go for a B site execute, it looks like. As fast as possible. They did smoke and flash Gunner off that off that angle for the deadly angle on our uh, site. Technical going to spray down one, two, three. He takes down the entire push right there. There goes the entire momentum. Iswick back takes on technical, but he immediately traded out by Halton. Cress is going to play the rest of it, and it is all up to John, who is now by Arches. John does get Jay White, though. He's now by himself. He's trying to get the bomb, trying to get something going on. He does actually run out of time. He's just trying to hold on to this AK with all his might. And he does hold on to that AK, thankfully. Because if he had died after the time ran out, he would have had absolutely no money going into this round. He would have had no buy, nothing. And it is going to be an eco for out of open. Old timers looks like they're starting to gain momentum and starting to run away with this. They did win the last three rounds straight. And they are stopping out of open on every chance they get. Every push just comes up short. And it's going to be, should be another easy round for old timers to make this 13 10 second half, first map of semifinals. And here comes Finn. Does spray down the CZ and is able to take out Best. Does pick up the M4 though and backs up with it. That's great for out of open. Now they have at least another gun to work with. But Crest is going to take down Gunner. They have really nowhere to go because they really don't have too much utility to work with. They're, Iswick back is now going to push onto Crest. He may catch Crest out in the open. He does. And he's able to take down uh, Crest. Jay White immediately trades Iswick back. And Allen takes down Jay White. Out of open. Looking great. They're going to get the bomb plant. And they have the uh, player advantage here. Old timers keep losing these eco rounds when they shouldn't be. That's the second one they're about to lose so far. These are the easy wins, that, uh, easy rounds that they have to capitalize on to keep them in the lead of this game. This is what's keeping out of open in this game. They keep running down these eco rounds, catching players out, and they are really good at that. And unfortunately for old timers, it's going to cost them the game if they continue to do this. And technical takes down Finn, but Finn swings to take down technical and halter, giving out of open 11-12. And it does look like now they're going to cause an eco. Oh, nope. They're going to buy for their teammates. There's going to be at least two M4s bought. Three M4s now. They did buy for their teammates. We have pretty much a full buy coming in for old timers. They have to stop losing those eco rounds. They're doing great on the rifle rounds, but when they are against an eco, they just can't seem to hold the spot. They keep pushing spots they shouldn't be. At that point, you just kind of got to hold back. Jay White does get knocked down by John, and they are going to be able to take... Attempt to take some damage through that wall. Not going to make any connections, though, unfortunately, for out of open. They did lose that opening duel, and they have lost the majority of the opening duels in this game. Unless they're on an ego. I mean, Best is playing phenomenally with a 50% headshot radio, 1.35 KD, and a 114 ADR, 22 and 16, as is Halton just unstoppable 16 one, 61 head shot percentage gunner does take down cresto towards mid and allen takes down jay white out of open starting to take uh starting to pick up some steam here they're gonna get another bomb plant and it looks like this round is gonna be go to out of open allen takes down best is wick back takes down halton it's all up to technical he's probably should just save this m4 at this point considering their economy Maybe play for an exit or two, but at this point, you're better off just backing up and hope, hoping you can keep that rifle. Out of Open is playing the smart too. They're not really hunting him down. They know they don't have the greatest economy in the world. They're going to try to save as much money as possible for these next couple of rounds. And they, are, they did just make it 12-12 with this round. So that does help them out going further. Down the line, it is now going to be 12-12 all tied up coming into round 25. And
and we are going to have a save coming in from old timers. So out of open should have an easy win on this round. And it looks like they're just going to start pushing as fast as they can down down apps actually. Yep, they're going to start pushing towards apps, try to take that early apps control. They know they shouldn't have too many rifles on this side, on this round. They do fully flash technical though. And the counter flash knocks Allen from peeking. Technical is now hiding behind sandbags. Allen does he check? He does, and he is able to take down. Allen's able to take down technical. They're going to snap smoke CT and start pushing out this site. And it's all up to best with the USP to at least stop this push. Try to get something going. They do see him through that wall. They are going to be able to spray him down, and it looks like it's going to be an easy plant for out of open on T side. It looks like John. Yep, and John takes down Jay White. Holton takes out Gunner, and John immediately trades. So it's going to be a nice easy. Oh, Crest takes down Allen though. Crest isn't done yet. They don't have the bomb down. They're actually just going to go A and get a free plant on A site, though. And Crest looks like he's just going to try to save this rifle as best as he can. Spraying through CT. And to try to keep this. And it looks like the players are just going to hold angles and not really try to hunt him down at this point. And it's going to be a 13-12 for out of open. This game has been real back and forth. Neither team is giving up. And they just keep playing round after round after round. And Crest does take down John. Takes down another rifle out of their hands, which is going to be big. I mean, they don't have the greatest eco. And Iswick back takes down Crest. So now it's going to be... They are going to still have enough money for a buy coming in here for the CT side. I mean, this game is just back and forth. It's 2 1, one three, 3 straight. Either team pushes back, wins a couple rounds, and then goes the other team swings back and wins just as many. Hopefully, they can keep this going back. This is probably one of the closest games so far we've had. And here comes. We do have. Where are they? There we go. John pushing up mid, Finn pushing towards the apps a little bit. Gunner also seems like pushing towards apps. Allen playing with two of them. He is going to get double peaked. Halton takes down Allen on B site. That's the duel that they need. The old timers going to back inside this inside this game. Now best. I don't know if they know he's there. They are going to check it, and he is going to be able to spray down one. Is Wick with a nice no scope turns on best takes him down. Crest then takes out Is Wick back and gets a second one for where he's at. Turning this into old timers round. It's going to be a oh Finn takes down technical. Is Finn gonna be able to hold on to this Krieg though and get the plant? I'm gonna assume no. They do have the angle. And Holton does peek him and takes down Finn. 13-13 coming in. And there's still going to be a full buy coming in. Gunner is unfortunately going to need to buy a gun from Finn. And he you throw the gun over to him there. They go. And he's able to find buy nades and everything else. And it looks like the CT sides are, or the T sides are going to start pushing early towards apps real fast. Try to get something going. He is going to take a little bit of damage from that molly. Finn's going to get uh, hit by an HE in mid. Does take a little bit of damage, not enough to work to be too worried about. He is smoked off though a mid. They are gonna hold these angles and try to get some sort of pick going, but it doesn't look the CTs are actually really gonna give them anything. They're just kind of holding angles off to the side. I mean, at this game, they ha at this point in this game, it's so close they can't really give them much. Crest does take down Iswick back and knocks the bomb down mid. They were able to recover it, but that's the pick they need. Old timers need these opening duels to go in their favor to win this game the way. And win these rounds. They can't give out of open these easy rounds that they have been. Out of open has been, or old timers has been putting themselves in the position. They did lose three eco rounds to old timers. They lose three eco rounds to out of open. And John's able to take down Jay White. Crest immediately trades it with that op. But I don't think they realize Allen and uh, Allen and Finn are on B site. But 
Halton and Techno are both there. They are both flashed off, though. Techno's able to spray down Allen. And uh, Halton's able to spray down Finn. And Best is able to clean up the round. 14 13 for old timers. Jay White asking them to stop abusing him on site. John telling him no. All right. And here we go for round 13, 14. Whoop. And I'm going down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to have a T-side uh, pistol round. They're going to... Amazing with these eco rounds. They've won every single one of them they've had so far. And Crest with the two. He does collapse. Crest gets the third. It doesn't look like Crest is going to let them get another one. Finn takes down Crest. But Jay White immediately answers back by taking down wow. Iswick back. It looks like Oldtimers finally figured out these eco rounds that's been so strong for out of open. Crest just, again, you know, showing everybody how much of a powerhouse he is here today. You know, he's just been carrying old timers like since the game one. He's been even the pistol round he's been winning by himself and taking three players on the op, like that's just uh, such a power play there. I know. He took out two with one shot. He did get that nice collat in apps. Is I that mean, what that was? I I wasn't yeah. I must I was your chair was on my foot, so I was looking at the floor at that time. Wow, he got a, a collateral kill? Yeah. That's yeah. sick. Dude. Doesn't get much better than that. And that also gives them the match point coming into map one mm -hmm. of uh, semifinals. And it looks like Crest is actually going to go for a pick down banana. He does get mollied off the spot, but he's still going to go for it. And he's going to molly back. They actually are able to spray down John. Jay White's able to spray down Gunner through mid. They're actually just going to push down now. Crest gets somebody through the smoke. He gets Allen right through that smoke. And now he's going to spray a little bit onto John. Just try to get a tag through that smoke again. Oh, Halton. Halton's going to finish him off. And it looks like out of open loses map one. As Best decides he's going to try to burn alive in that molly. He's get to go for the final pick. He is. Finn does trade down Best, though. And now it is a 1v4. Can Finn keep out of open in this game? He's got 50 seconds, the bomb. And a Krieg. Unfortunately, he knows where none of these players are. And if Crest is still alive, and if he has anything to say about it with that op, Finn is in a whole lot of trouble. Fortunately, though, for out of open, Finn is the player you want to be alive at this point. He is 23 and 18 on this server. He has a 40 headshot percentage, an 81 ADR, and a 1.22 KD. He is carrying his team this, this game. And Finn does get put down by Halton for map one of semifinals. And it looks like we're going to go to break while they get ready for map two. I miss the olden days, back when we would drive my Civic off into the sunset, windshield glowing with a golden haze. I miss the simpler times, when you could pick me up at 4am and hit the road and we would improvise with nothing in the GPS, back when we were free to roam and brought a pillow with us so that anywhere could be our home. Not the most romantic, but we planned out all our future dates and snuck in every morning to cop breakfast at a Super 8. I'd waltz in past the front desk, then open the cafe door. You'd slink in and we'd have a banquet that we'd never pay for. Two goody two shoes breaking all the rules, little rebel. We were perps trying to hide our smirks while slipping fruity pebbles in your purse. And as we dipped out of the exit, you would grin as if you robbed a bank. Hop into our getaway, then gunning on an empty tank. Pull into a vacant station where our car's the only one. There's something meditative about the smell of fresh petroleum. But things have changed since. Cars are losing their appeal. It's been decades since I've even gripped a steering wheel. Elon built a hyperloop so no one drives a coupe no more. People take their transit pods through traffic on their private routes. China's got a maglev train, but I would never get aboard. And in Russia, I heard they could program people so they teleport. Point A to B. Always know exactly where you're headed for. Remember when a road trip meant a sojourn, not a metaphor? Remember rolling windows down with levers on the metal doors and reaching back behind your seat to find that bag of kettle corn? One foot on a floorboard, then put on a gas, yearning for that rearview mirror. I've got one foot in the past. I miss the olden days, back when we would drive my Civic off into the sunset, windshield glowing with a golden haze. I miss the simpler times, when you could pick me up at 4 a.m. and hit the road and we would improvise with nothing in the GPS.
I think I'm in love, but I've been feeling otherwise. These flutters in my stomach aren't butterflies, but cutting knives and not the butter kind. And if you listen close when she begins to speak, you'll hear a couple hundred sighs in the collective shut of eyes. Letters linger on her lips like lullabies. I think I've drowned a couple times inside her opal colored eyes. She can do something as simple as sit down with the grace of Olympic dives. A perfect 10 photo shutter finish on her cocoa butter thighs. Catch her wearing loose pajamas on a Sunday, and she'd overshadow any supermodel on a runway. When she wakes up in the morning, she smells like vanilla essence and a bittersweet recollections of your adolescence summer camp and piano lessons and presents you got on birthdays orange creamsicles and double plays on first base and walk past her in the halls and if your shoulders feel the slightest brush you might melt to liquid gold the lightest kind of Midas touch i've seen the way she drinks espresso during classes and reshapes a paper cup into an emerald covered chalice sugar packets pouring crystals napkin origami cranes gunning gorgeous glances to me through a giorgio armani frames she's nearly perfect in almost every way but she's got shit taste in movies ask her for her favorite titles and she always likes to say she's down to go see anything by Shyamalan or Michael Bay and also she's a psycho